Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on creating an essay title page in APA format. We'll be continuing to develop the template from Lessons 6 and 7, so open that document now. If you've misplaced the template, you can either return to the earlier tutorials or use the supplementary template provided with this lesson. As a reminder, this lesson deals with APA style. If your school requires MLA style, you should skip ahead to Lesson 10. I know I told you in an earlier lesson that you would rarely use the Write Justification button, and once you have your template set up, that will be true. However, we will be using that button for this tutorial, so let's start by making sure it's visible. Go to the thin arrow at the bottom row of buttons, select Visible Buttons from the drop-down menu, and make sure Align Write is checked. Title pages often throw students for a loop, but they really aren't as challenging as they seem. As a first step, we need to create two pages in our template so that we don't lose the header we created in Lesson 7. First, make sure your cursor is in the main body of the document, not the header. Go to the Insert drop-down menu and click Manual Break. When the Manual Break box appears, make sure that Page Break is selected and that the style is None. Click OK. You should now find yourself on a new second page of your document. Scroll back up to the top of the document and put your cursor in the main body of the first page. Now go to the Format drop-down menu and select Styles and Formatting. In the box that appears, choose the Page Styles button. Then double-click First Page. You'll see that your header disappears, but don't panic. Scroll down to the second page and you'll see your original header is still there. You've simply created a separate section for your title page, and now we need to format it. Return to the top of the document and make sure your cursor is somewhere in the main body of the first page. Go to the Insert drop-down menu and roll over the Header option. You should now see First Page as a choice. Click on it. Place your cursor in the header box. Then return to the Insert drop-down menu and select Table. In the box that appears, choose two columns and one row, and be sure the Borders option is unchecked. Click OK. Place your cursor in the left column of the header table and make sure the Align Left box is highlighted. Type Running Head followed by a colon. Then type your essay title in all capital letters. As before, if your title is longer than 50 characters, abbreviate it. Be sure that your title or abbreviated title is the same as the one in the header on your second page. The only difference is that you now have the words Running Head and a colon in front of that title. Now place your cursor in the right side of the header table. Click the Align Right button. Go to the Insert drop-down menu and click on Page Numbers. Make the Align Right button disappear again by clicking on the thin arrow at the end of the bottom row of buttons, rolling over the Visible Buttons option, and clicking on Align Right to uncheck it. I know at this point it probably seems silly to keep making this button go away, but in the 12 years I've been teaching writing, I get at least one student in every class who needlessly loses points by having text misaligned. The fewer buttons you have visible, the less likely you will be to make a mistake. So unless you're deliberately aligning text to the right, or fully justifying text, you really are better off removing these buttons from your toolbar. Now it's time to insert some placeholders for your title page. Place your cursor in the main body of the first page, not the header, and make sure that line spacing 2 is selected. Click Return four times. Click the Centered Alignment button so that your cursor is now in the middle of the line. This is where your essay title will go, and it should have the first letters of each word capitalized, excluding articles, coordinating conjunctions, and prepositions that are less than five letters long. The first letter of your title should always be capitalized, even if it wouldn't otherwise be. For now, we'll just use the placeholder, the title of the essay. Click Return and type your name on the next line. Click Return again and type the name of your school. Select the File drop-down menu and click Save. Since the page numbers appear as the words Page Numbers, it's a good idea to double-check to make sure everything is as it should be. To do this, go to the File drop-down menu and select Page Preview. You should see the two pages side-by-side. -side. The title page should show the number 1, and the second page should show the number 2. Click Close Preview. And that's it. You now have a sample title page added to your template. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial. 